Today on Behind the Mystery, urea cycle disorders, a rare group of genetic diseases that affect about one in 35,000 births in the United States. We're joined today by Dr. Britt Johnson, clinical biochemical and molecular geneticist at Invite to learn more about this. But first, we're gonna meet one family whose devastating diagnosis changed the course of their lives. Take a look. I had had three healthy children, um, and then when I had given birth to my fourth child, within the first 24 hours, he became very, very sick. He passed away when he was three days old. We were just very, very shocked and, and just devastated. Um, couldn't figure out why this happened because everything was just perfect. I was told that um, he passed away from a urea cycle disorder, ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency. When a geneticist ran tests, Robin was told she was a carrier for a urea cycle disorder called OTC. Years later, when Robin met Michael, they had their first child together. He was diagnosed with OTC deficiency when he was born. He went into a crisis uh, almost right away. And I mean, that's when the kind of the nightmare started. Um, his ammonia levels got really high. When he would overcome something, I had all this hope, you know? And I was like, you know, God, don't give me hope and take it away. And that seemed like that happened a lot. And finally, he, uh, he ended up uh, passing away. Yeah, it was, it was really hard to, to, to see that and to, to go through that. And, um, Doctor, that's such a devastating story to hear. Um, what is urea cycle disorder? When the proteins we eat are broken down in the body, ammonia is generated. But the liver has a mechanism to safely remove ammonia uh, through the urea cycle. But individuals who have a urea cycle disorder have a problem with one of the enzyme steps of this process. And therefore, ammonia can build up to toxic levels in the blood. There are several types of urea cycle disorders. Uh, the most common is called ornithine transcarbamylase deficiency. We call it OTC deficiency for short. Can you talk about the genetic component of this disease? So urea cycle disorders are caused by changes in a group of genes that control the urea cycle. Now, OTC deficiency is a little different from the other types of urea cycle disorders in that it's X-linked, which means uh, the mother passes on that genetic mutation to the child. Now, because OTC deficiency is X-linked, that means that males are typically more severely affected than females. Doctor, what are the signs and symptoms that adults should be aware of? Sure, so OTC females often notice that eating a high-protein meal will make them feel sick. Um, and some of the other symptoms they can experience are unexplained sudden changes in mental function, such as confusion, memory loss, feeling disoriented, or even unusual behaviors and changes in personality or hallucinations. Other symptoms can include extreme tiredness, nausea and vomiting, migraine headaches, and in more severe instances, coma. These symptoms can be triggered when protein breakdown is higher than usual. As we saw in the story, uh, two of Robin's children were affected with OTC. Yeah, so infants with the severe form of the disease can lead to permanent brain damage, coma, and even death. Thank you, doctor. Now, three years after losing their son, Michael, Robin became pregnant with their daughter, Ariella. She was diagnosed at seven months old with OTC. Now, at 17, she, along with her mother, tackled their diagnosis together. So right now, Ariella is um, managing her condition. Um, she's trying to take control of, of her illness and what's going on having some struggles letting go. She's had a rough, rough times. And now, you know, she's, she's going to beauty school. She wants to be a beautician and, you know, she's thriving there and she loves it. And, you know, it's just good to see that she's got a future, you know, she's, she can look forward to that. Michael and Robin didn't want other families to feel alone like they did, so they put their heartache into action and started Connecting Families UCD Foundation. That's really why we started Connecting Families was to put people together. You know, we get phone calls from, literally from patients all over the world. We have annual meetups 
They're um, very educational. We, um, our absolute most favorite thing we do is our family camps. We've been able to put so many families together and, and not just the families, but the kids, you know, especially the children. They, they, they get to meet another kid that has what they have. What an inspiration, doctor. Yes, it's a really touching story. Now, doctor, if someone suspects they have urea cycle disorder, uh, how can they be tested? There's a genetic test um, that can be ordered by your doctor. Your genetic counselor and physician um, can really determine if a genetic test is right for you. Doctor, is the test expensive? There are many genetic tests out there and the cost can vary, but there are programs that exist that provide uh, access to the testing at no cost to the patient. With Invite's UCD genetic testing program that's sponsored by Horizon Therapeutics, patients that are suspected of having a urea cycle disorder can get the testing at no cost to them. Your doctor will order the tests. You'll just provide a saliva sample that gets sent to the laboratory. And when the testing is done, the results will be returned to your doctor. The test results can help you and your doctor manage your diagnosis and get the best possible care. Doctor, who should consider being tested. If anyone in your family or your child has been diagnosed with urea cycle disorder, it's especially important for mothers, aunts, and siblings of individuals with OTC deficiency, or you experienced any of the symptoms we've discussed in the program. So where can viewers find out more information? In vitae.com forward slash UCD or ucdincommon.com. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Let's visit one last time with Robin and Michael. Take a look. It's so important to have genetic testing to um, confirm your diagnosis. You need to find out if any of your other family members are affected. It's a life or death situation. It really is. I think one of the things I would like to stress to um, these families, and especially a newly diagnosed family, is that you don't have to go through this alone. Um, we're all in this together. We understand each other, and the hope we hold together is one day that there'll be a cure, and we're here for you. For more information on Connecting Families UCD Foundation, visit ucdfamily.org. You can also visit our website, thebalancingact.com.